What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a Plexus styled YouTube banner. So guys, welcome to the tutorial. I actually have webcam on right now. I'm using the Logitech C920. My hair hasn't got gel in it. I've just got out of the shower, and I'm sorry about the mess. That was just my microphone box in the corner but hopefully you do enjoy the webcam if you don't please be sure to put that in the comments down below maybe you don't want webcam videos I don't even know so put that in the comments down below and I'll maybe add webcam in my videos or I just ignore it I will not really be looking into the webcam too often just because I will have to look at my screen but as you can see these are the two example banners I have for this video These are the two example banners that I have. As you can see, we've got the Your Name template one, which I'm actually going to be giving away one of these templates. So what you have to do to actually win this is just leave a like on the video and also leave a comment down below and I'll just pick a random person and you can have the banner template. I'll just use a random comment generator. But as you can see, these are the two examples. I actually made this one in a tutorial and then that failed and then I've had to record this. But on the upside, you actually have a webcam on this video unlike the one that I just made. But as you can see, it doesn't involve too many layers. The only things you will need is the font Gotham Bold or Nexa Bold. It's completely up to you which one you want to use. The top one is Nexa Bold and the bottom one is Gotham Bold. So it really doesn't matter whichever one you want to use. And you will also need my exclusive CC Pack version 2 just like that. I will leave a link to the CC pack in the description down below if you do want to go ahead and download it but I'm just getting this ready. One more thing guys you will actually need for this video is a uh, Plexus stock. The Plexus stock I used is in my brand new Inferno pack. The pack has not yet been released but it's going to be released in around about three weeks I'm going to say just because I need to add way more stocks in it and things like that and I haven't got internet for two weeks so I just can't really do that but yeah it's got tons of stuff in it it's not even been finished yet and uh, I'm gonna be using one of the backing stocks from there uh, once my Photoshop actually loads and this pack will like I said be released very shortly I'm giving you a bit of a uh, heads up what's actually in here ignore the numbers though as well that doesn't mean anything that just means how much left I have uh, to put stuff in there so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Plexus stock a normal image link like a print screen will be in the description down below if you want to go ahead and get it but all you have to do is just drag and drop that into your banner template you just need a plain banner template like the one I've got here I'm actually gonna change the color of this just so you can see it easier you don't have to copy me but yeah just grab your stock and as you can see what you want is this uh, part of the stock so the right hand side and you want it to sort of line up like the one I've got here make sure it is in the middle to do this I know I get a lot of questions asked about this but just press Control and H on your keyboard and that will bring up these little ruler lines if you don't have these ruler lines then just drag them from the side and if you don't have this side ruler press Control R and that will bring up the rulers you just want to centralize it just like I'm doing right there and then if you press Control and J on your keyboard and then Control and T uh, this will actually duplicate that layer and let you um, flip it. So I'm going to right click that, go to flip horizontal and as you can see it will flip to the other side but we want to uh, just sort of make it go up a little bit more just so it looks like it's almost one single stock and no one really noticed that it's two different ones. If that makes sense it's just a little trick that I do and um, as you can see you've got that gap in the middle so we will be getting rid of that. So make sure you right click rasterize layer if you do need to um, I'm sure you won't need to do that however but just grab your eraser tool make sure the size of this is around about I'm gonna say 120 and then just uh, make sure you've got the right layer and just erase the uh, edges of this because you don't want that sort of weird image effect you want it to look like it's just one single image just like I'm doing right there and I'm gonna press control and minus and zoom out so you can see easier like I said just make sure you press control and plus while you're doing that just so you can zoom in but as you can see we've got the two stocks now we just want to uh, make sure this is one single stock so I'm gonna press control on the top one control on the bottom one and then just press control and E on my keyboard and that will actually merge both of those layers as uh, just one single layer so now what I want to do is just press control and J that will do duplicate that layer and now you can actually name this one backup or whatever you want uh, just as a backup one and then you can name this one 
backing it's completely up to you personally I don't even name my layers but if you do want to then go ahead but as you can see it's in color but we want to make it black and white before we actually choose our color there's a reason why I'll tell you that later but just head over to image at the top go to adjustments and then select a black and white uh, there's many ways to do this but I just prefer doing it this way hit ok on your mouse and as you can see the image will turn into black and white so now what we want to do is just make a brand new layer and uh, you can do this a variety of ways you can actually use my 2k graphics pack and go ahead and um, grab a gradient if you do wish but what I'm going to do is just use a simple color so I'm going to grab my brush tool you can do this by just adding the paintbrush tool it really doesn't matter and make sure your foreground color is whatever color you want to use on the actual banner itself I'm actually going to go ahead and use pink for this one just because I've done one blue and also red so I'm going to use pink and I'm just going to color in the whole of this uh, you can actually leave parts out it's completely up to you but I've just found the best ways to color it all in with the brush tool and then what you want to do now is change the blending option of this to overlay and as you can see it will make the whole image pink you could go ahead and just press ctrl and u and change the hue and saturation but personally i think it creates a really weird effect so i think this is the best way to choose the color so now what i'm going to go ahead and do is add the text this is just before i go ahead and add the lighting and things like that so i'm going to grab my text tool select anywhere on the screen make sure to bring up your rulers once again if you do need them i'm going to bring them up there and um, i'm actually going to type in my text so for this video i'm just going to type in visual arts as you can see right now and the font that i am using for this video is gotham bold i will leave a link to that but if you do want the nexa bold which is uh, shown in the top example then you can go ahead and get that one as well they're both free fonts and really good fonts so make sure you've got that uh, font you can even use any one you want it really doesn't matter and i'm going to grab gotham bold i'm going to select the character map over here as you can see that will bring up this little character map thing here on the right hand side and you want to just mess around with the va personally i think the va is better around about minus five you don't want a high va it will just look bad so and as you can see it's not exactly perfectly centered but i am sort of almost rushing this tutorial so now what you want to do after you have that visual arts text is just press ctrl and j on your keyboard and that will duplicate that layer and then just hide that uh, last layer that you just duplicated just because that's going to be a backup if you ever need to change the text so after you've done that just double click on your new layer that will open up the blending options page change the color overlay to i'm going to say a white but you can use whatever one you want and i'm going to make it an offset white so pretty much an offset white means close to white but not exactly white so the color that i'm going to use is hashtag e e e e e e e and uh, yeah i'm going to hit ok and i'm actually going to hit ok again and now what i'm going to do is just select outer glow and as you can see this will create a really nice effect but what you want to do is once you're on outer glow make sure you've got your blend mode on screen opacity around about 40 percent then make sure you have this first option selected just because you don't want the gradient so select that and then just select almost the color that you are using so as you can see here i've used a darkish pink so i'm going to use a really light pink just so it almost stands out let me pick a nice pink here that looks good and what you can also do is increase that opacity if you can't exactly see it so i'm going to increase my opacity to 60 percent that looks good and i'm actually going to go over to the elements and i'm going to decrease the size just because it looks a bit too much so i'm going to decrease the size to five percent and then hit ok and as you can see that will add to the text so after that just press ctrl and j on your keyboard that will duplicate that layer and then right click rasterize the layer and also rasterize the layer style so now once that's done you can actually zoom in and grab your eraser tool this is almost a fun part if you'd like to say that but uh, just decrease the size to this uh, around about 20 percent and I'm actually going to go ahead and just erase off the parts on the plexus that I don't want to see just like that um, that looks good just make sure you mess around with the plexus effect you want to make it look uh, have some parts blending in with it some parts not it's completely up to you and also some parts you may need to even decrease the size of your brush just so you can get in those parts and erase off the effect so I'm going to erase the text here and also there um, the S blends in well so I'm going to move over to the other side I'm going to erase off this part over here uh, completely like that and I'm also going to erase off this part coming down here 
like so and as you can see that creates a really cool effect you can go ahead and erase off any parts you want uh, just press Control and Z if you do wish to go back as you can see that one didn't turn out too well so I'm going to erase off this bit and I'm going to need to decrease the size of my brush once again uh, just like so there we go that looks good and um, it's almost blending in with one of the lights so it does look a little bit weird that S but as you can see I think it looks really good um, I'm gonna add one more bit here oh no that doesn't look any good so I'm just gonna press control and minus zoom out um, one thing it really does depend on is the order of your text what text you are using uh, some words are going to work so much better than others but I think that looks okay um, as a nice little effect so so I'm gonna go ahead now and just mess around with the color corrections like so as you can see um, I'm gonna press a brand new layer go to my brush tool select a full black color and then just add this black brush on the sides make sure your brush size is around about 400 and then lower down the opacity of this to around about 30% and I'm going to make a brand new layer once again this time grab the white color and increase the size of this brush to around about 600 and then just hit that white brush at the very top of the banner once you've done that just lower down the opacity of this to around about I'm going to say 32% that looks good and one other thing you can do is just grab your text tool um, I like to do it above those lighting effects and then just hit anywhere on the actual design and type in whatever text you would like to say so I'm going to say graphic design uh, just so people know I make graphic design videos and what you want to do is make this text the same color as the uh, background you are using so I'm using pink if you're using purple make it purple if you're using red make it red so I'm going to make it pink and as you can see that makes a really nice effect I'm going to make sure that is centered over there and you can uh, make this smaller if you wish but I'm going to actually lower down the opacity of this to all I'm going to say even f say 8% you don't want it to stand out too much I'm also going to decrease the size of this you just want it to be some extra text maybe even your social media that's completely up to you I'm just showing you how to get this sort of plexus effect so I'm going to make a brand new layer just above all of them grab my brush tool now this this part takes a little bit of time uh, not too much time though so I'm gonna grab a brush size around about 30 make sure you have a full white color and now what you want to do is just press Control and plus zoom in and go ahead and just hit the white parts of the plexus effect just like I'm doing now if you're using a different plexus uh, maybe just go ahead go on Google images and type in plexus and you'll find some but as you can see this one works really well with the lights so make sure you use your brush tool go ahead and select every one it does take a little bit of time so I will speed it up and there we go so I'm gonna press Control minus zoom out of that and then just change the blending option of this layer to overlay and as you can see that makes it just stand out so much more it makes it look a lot better and you can actually uh, decrease the opacity of this so I'm gonna decrease it to 80% just because with the pink it makes it stand out even more and um, now I'm gonna add my color corrections so you can go ahead use my CC pack version 1 or version 2 I will leave a link to both though uh, some CC's like I always say some CC's work better than others as you can see these are blue CC's on at the moment and they look so bad with the pink color correction the only one that does look good is this one so this is CC pack version 2 I'm gonna go ahead and find some good CC's for the uh, pink one you can go ahead try every single one I know it takes a little bit of time but there will be one or even a couple that just work really well with your banner so guys I'm literally just showing you right now the CC's I have in my new inferno pack um, I don't really know if I actually should show you but if you guys just take a look at how many CC's there is in this pack so far there's literally so many this CC right here looks really good so I'm gonna add that lower down the opacity of this and I think I'm pretty much done um, I don't know how this one turned out I don't think it turned out too well maybe not as good as the other ones but just the final and last effect I'm gonna do is just group all of my layers together just press shift on the top layer shift on the bottom layer press that nice little group icon and then press ctrl J on that group and then ctrl E and then ctrl J one last time and then go to filter at the top select other and then go to high pass make sure the radius is on 10 pixels 
hit OK and then change the blending option of this to overlay as you can see this creates a really nice effect on it you can go ahead keep this on 100% or lower it down so I'm going to lower mine down to 60% and I'm going to just merge both of those layers once again together and I'm going to delete the top part so as you can see right there this one is the second well third one and we actually made um, I made another one in the tutorial but if you do want the template for this for you to go ahead and edit without even following along with this video then just go ahead leave a like and also leave a comment and I'll pick one random person make sure though in the comment you do actually say that you do want it because um, I'm not going to pick someone and then they don't want it so hopefully you did follow along with this tutorial quite easy and hopefully you did enjoy the webcam in this video um, the webcam I have been using here is the Logitech C920 the webcam that pretty much everybody uses every youtuber uses his webcam whatever that be for streaming it really doesn't matter but anyways i'm going to cut this video here hopefully like i said before you did enjoy it if you did make sure to leave a like i really would appreciate it sorry once again for my hair and the mess in the background but like i said hope you did enjoy this video if you did actually make a banner make sure to tweet it at me at visual j daniels and i'll be sure to uh, reply to your tweet and also like it so like i said before i'm going over the same stuff but hope you did enjoy the video this has been visual or james no matter. Peace.